Admit it, human beings are always greedy. We always want to get the best performing smartphone at the cheapest price, and unfortunately, there isn't one smartphone like this until the arrival of Chinese smartphones. In this episode of Gadget Review, meet the Xiaomi Mi 3, the smartphone that challenges every popular flagship smartphone with its crazily affordable price tag and high performance specifications. Xiaomi may not be a strong brand in the early days until the debut of the Mi 2S, which is the first smartphone in the world to feature Qualcomm's first Snapdragon Quad-Core CPU, and the company has got Hugo Barra from Google to join the executive team to push the brand further to markets out of China. Now, onto the Xiaomi Mi 3. The phone is a beautiful piece of hardware. You will find its design being inspired by Nokia's Lumia devices and Lenovo's K900. The device's body uses an aluminum magnesium alloy frame, which is coated in three layers of thermal graphite film. It is an amazing piece of industrial design. The Xiaomi Mi 3 may not have the latest CPU and specifications, but the internals are still no slouch in the market today. The Mi 3 has a Snapdragon 800 quad-core CPU clocked at 2.3 GHz, 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB internal Sandisk branded flash storage with support for USB on the go, 5-inch Full HD IPS display manufactured by JDI, 30 MP Sony Exmor camera, 2 MP backside illuminated front-facing camera, Bluetooth 4.0, Wi-Fi AC, NFC, Miracast, supports HSPA Plus networks, and powered by a 3050mAh battery. The Mi 3 is an exciting product. Booting up the device for the first time gives you a wow experience. The 5-inch Full HD IPS display shows excellent colors and viewing angles, which makes text and graphics look sharp at 443 ppi. The display's touch sensitivity is also incredibly smooth and responsive, while outdoor visibility is considered decent, but not the brightest that we have seen. We approach a lot of users, and many of them complain the crudeness of the design. The long, squarish and sharp corners makes people with small hands feel uncomfortable holding the phone for long durations. However, for people with huge hands, the phone's size works fine for them. The Mi 3 runs on Android 4.3 with MIUI version 5 on top at this time of reviewing. The phone will receive an update to Android 4 of our KitKat soon. MIUI hasn't changed too much from its initial release. It maintains the same paginated way of navigating around the phone, just like Apple's iOS. Widgets and app icons coincide together on the home screen. However, here's a problem without an app launcher. As you install more and more apps, the number of pages increases, and the number of apps in folders that you have originally will also grow, which can really cause confusion in searching apps when you have installed too many of them. MIUI has over 240 features and is supported by a 35 million user community globally. You'll find tons of add-ons and features in every new system update, which is really awesome. MIUI is extremely customizable. You have a team store that lets you download free themes and change the entire outlook of the phone, or even change a specific element on the phone such as boot screen, status bar, and etc. Even with such heavy skins being applied to the phone, they never affect the phone's performance. But some of the themes here can be pretty confusing with its color schemes and their usability isn't really consistent. MIUI includes a few amazing features that everybody should know, and we are just going to mention a few useful ones here. Without unlocking the phone, you can press and hold the home button to turn the phone's flashlight. Press and hold onto the back button activates the camera to quickly capture a photo. Arranging your home screen icons and widgets is an easy task with multi-touch. Hold onto an icon or widget, then use a second finger to swipe between home screens. Move multiple app icons by pinching the home screen then select apps you want to move. Then tap the app to place it in a specific home screen. Or swipe all icons on the status bar to have all apps in the active home screen. The security app in the phone lets you manage the phone's power consumption by allowing you to configure custom power plans. Remove unused wasted storage space caused by apps. Monitor app permissions. Perform a virus scan and block unwanted contacts. MeCloud is the company's cloud service which gives you 10 gigabytes of free storage. The service allows you to back up your phone's contacts, notes, messages, and gallery. Locate your phone and remotely wipe if it is lost. The service even allows you to send and receive text messages through your phone. Overall, the features in MIUI will definitely make users overwhelmed and may take time to get used to. After that, it is simply difficult to make the switch to other phones because MIUI is such an efficient launcher with a rich set of practical features. 
Dimitri's 13 megapixel camera takes amazing shots. It's been a while since we have seen Android smartphones taking such decent pictures. Colors are natural looking and details are very sharp. Even though light shots look good on screen, the camera is a legend in taking HDR pictures. Do check out more camera samples on our post. Sadly, the default camera app isn't the best out there, though it gives you a set of great advanced imaging controls such as exposure time and white balance measurement. It is missing some popular features that you can find on many flagship smartphones, such as drama shot and 360 degree surround shot. Full HD video recording on the Mi 3 is good, but not the best we have seen. The camera also seems to have metering issues when we try taking videos and stabilization is just okay. Benchmarks on the Xiaomi Mi 3 shows one of the highest scores that we have seen on a Snapdragon 800 device. The phone scores 36,000 points and 22,000 points on Nintendo and Quadrant respectively. The benchmark results truly reflects on the phone's real-world performance and we definitely perceive that. Gaming on the Mi 3 is also superb. However, due to storage limitations, we are not able to install many huge titles on it. The loudspeaker of the phone plays very loud and clear sound. We enjoy listening to music and watching videos on it. Once you put on your headphones, the built-in Direct HD sound chip and Mi Sound Enhancer will blow you away with its rich bass and dynamics. Call quality on the Mi 3 is decent thanks to two active noise cancellation microphones. Despite only having DC HSPA Plus support, we experience really fast network speeds over Maxi's HSPA network. We hope to see LTE in Xiaomi smartphones really soon. Battery life on the Mi 3 is amazing. We went for a day trip and use it a lot for taking pictures and uploading to social media, sending and receiving a lot of IMs and about 8 to 10 phone calls in a day. The phone is still able to last a full working day on a full charge. On a light to moderate usage, the phone is able to last around 28 hours on a full charge. In addition, the Mi 3 supports quick charge. Connect the phone to a 2M charger and it will charge really fast. The Xiaomi Mi 3 is an amazing smartphone which we have been waiting for a long long time. Never before an Android smartphone works so reliably and smoothly. Combined with beautiful and attractive hardware design, it is really difficult to resist the charm and performance of this phone. You may have expected phones with such capabilities to cause a bomb. The Xiaomi Mi 3 retails at a shockingly affordable price tag of 889 ringgit, which is 60% cheaper than most competing smartphones with similar hardware specs. If you don't mind the lack of storage expansion and LTE connectivity, we highly recommend that you buy the phone. The Xiaomi Mi 3 gets a 4.5 out of 5 star rating from us. Guys, that's it for the full review of the Xiaomi Mi 3. Visit our site at klgadgetguide.com to check out comparisons with other phones as well as sample images from the awesome 30 megapixel camera. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up and leave comments down below if you have any questions on Xiaomi Malaysia or the Mi 3 itself. And of course, if you'd like to see more video contents from us, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the annotation right there or just click on the subscribe button if you like. And of course, follow us on social networks such as Facebook and Twitter at KL Gadget Guy. I'll see you next time in the next episode of Gadget Review. And together with me, Rabbit over here, we would like to say thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see you next time. That's it for now. Coming up in the next episode of Gadget Review, meet the Jada F300 Mini PC, a compact computer powered by Intel's 4th gen CPU. So stay tuned to our YouTube channel and make sure you're subscribed. Once again, thank you very much for watching this episode of Gadget Review.